cleaning up a haunted mental hospital is probably not a good idea. It's 31 Days of Horror and it's day 22 and we are watching the movie Session 9. The story follows Gordon and Phil as they get a small group of guys to complete a cleaning job in one week at an abandoned mental hospital. This place is huge, destroyed, and creepy looking. This place definitely sets a tone at places you don't want to be at night. Slowly as they clean, each guy finds different things in the hospital. Hank stumbles upon some old coins and some other things in a hole. Mike happens to find some old tapes that he's obsessed with listening to. It has a doctor talking to a patient named Mary who has split personality disorder and he questions her about what happened during an event in her life that brought her to the hospital. There is just something chilling about hearing old tapes with distorted voices. The further in the job goes, you start seeing cracks in everyone. Gordon is overly worried about his wife because of what happened at home, and he just wants to see his new baby girl. Phil sneaks off to smoke, but he also seems like a compulsive liar. Mike will find reasons to mess up cords and other things just to go to the basement to listen to these tapes. And Hank is doing whatever the hell Hank is doing. Now this is the type of film that I honestly think is good for two watches. With how things play out and how things happen and what I know now. Taking a look at everything I missed leading up to certain scenes and boiling points make a lot more sense on second viewing. Even just quickly looking back at the film while I was writing this review, I saw things that I missed when I first watched this movie and I'm like, wait, that was like in the beginning and you start slowly piecing things together. Sometimes movies are just better on second viewing and originally I did like this movie but I was actually pretty confused by the end until I had to look up some things. This is a psychological horror film and it will have you putting the puzzle pieces together as you try to figure out what the heck is going on. It's not jump scare scary, but it's unsettling and eerie at times. There's also a line at the end of the movie that you really need to like really think about and it's pretty creepy. If you like movies that make you think, then I definitely suggest you check this movie out. On a scare meter, I give this a 2 out of 10. On a blood meter, I give this a 1 out of 10. And that's why I give Session 9 an 8 out of 10. If you guys like this review, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.